Yo, what is up guys and welcome to the very last episode of the San Jose Career Mode. We have gone two seasons and now we are in perfect position to do the double over the MLS. We won the US Open Cup in the last episode. Go and check that out if you haven't. We beat LA Galaxy 4-0 in the final of that. And today, we not only have the last MLS game for Wondolowski, but we have the playoffs, of course. And I think we can do it. We did kind of start to uh, start to get a lot of draws late last season, but I think we can clutch up the, uh, the playoffs. We don't really have that big uh, CDM anymore, of course, in... Uh, in Michaels, but I think Miranda can do the job. We're gonna play Wando, of course, for his last game. Other than that, team is gonna be the same as always. Um, and I'm, I'm just really confident. Of course, this game doesn't really matter, but as for the playoffs, I think we can really, really run away with it and hopefully get the dub. We're gonna be playing the final of the MLS playoffs on a long sim game, and I'll get into that a bit later. We're gonna try and get through this kind of quick we lose we lose the last game of wando's mls career unfortunately but uh of course we still get first we still finish first which is fine so that's our third loss only kind of a bittersweet end to the season of course uh getting so many points probably one of the mls one of the highest mls finishes i think we had like 80 81 or 80 something points um we get our last used guy in report of course they don't really matter but it would be nice to, to maybe get a nice little youngster late on. And it looks like it might be this Thor guy. So that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get through this quickly. All the playoffs so we can get to the final. And uh, the video won't be too long for you guys. The good thing is we're already in the conference semifinals. We don't really have to go through anything else. I believe like our first season. Because in our first season we were like 7th place. So we actually had to go... Um, through I think one or two more rounds so Correa up to a 70 as well that's great Correa in one season has grown I believe about nine uh, overall ratings and it isn't even a season it's been like I don't know five or so months since we signed him so he is just full of potential Miranda now up to a 73 he will be of course starting throughout the playoffs in the midfield with Jackson Ewell unfortunately Poor Michaels will not be able to feature. He's been out, of course, for four months. The only problem is I think Wando is going to want to play. I'd love to be a part in the final home game. I get. I mean, if, if it is the final home game, if he, if he keeps saying this, maybe in the next round we might have to take him out. But we're against Sporting KC. It should be a relatively easy win, but who knows. I think they did shock us with kind of a, with a draw late on in the season, but... Um, no changes except I think I'm going to play Tommy Thompson just to get some rotation in. Our first stop on our way to the hopefully MLS title, the conference semis against Sporting. They've won their past three games, so they are in quite good form. And we win 2-0. Wando in potentially the final home game. I'm not actually sure if it is. He scores and I think Moore gets his first of the season. LAFC will be the conference finals. That is that is a very, very tough opponent. So we're in the conference finals. Unfortunately, it was a red card that is keeping Schindler out of the game. He's been such a reliable center back over the season. We're taking Correa out. We're going to give Jensen a chance just because he's high rated. And then Wondolowski, I probably will start him or at least play him for one half in the final. But uh, Mason Toy, we need that goal scoring prowess. He's on 17 on the season so far. November 1st against LAFC. We beat them once this season. They beat us one time. And we win on pens. That was way too close for comfort. Jackson Ewell, one of the most reliable players on this team, scores for us in the 73rd minute. 10 minutes after uh, Wright Phillips opened it for them. And we will face Columbus, the first team that we lost to this season with Jai Cizardes as a top goal scorer. This is probably the toughest scenario that could have uh, played out. So the MLS final lineup, we're putting in Correa, the young 16 year old, Wondolowski of course in his last game, we have to play him. But Mason Toy, he might come on uh, in the 45th minute, it's very, very likely. But other than that, 
we have the exact same lineup as we have for the past uh, month or so. But we're gonna go in, actually for the first time into the game, we've got on the, uh, the black and blue kit, but basically, oh, I need to change it. I was on ultimate difficulty, but we gotta go to legendary because ultimate is just too OP. They just, for some reason, ultimate AI is just too OP when I've tested this before. So basically what's gonna happen, I'm gonna go into the game and you just press this middle button on the controller and it basically changes you to the goalkeeper and it's as close as a sim as you can get. Now, this is the first time I've ever seen my players on the actual pitch, so it is exciting. Um, except for, I guess, the few trainings that I did with some of the guys. Um, only really Miranda and Mancio, but there he is, Jaisi Zardes, a danger man up top. I think he has like 27 goals this season. And I'm gonna somehow need to be saving whatever he puts on net, but we're in the MLS Finals. This is our chance to do the double. Unfortunately, we didn't win the summer tournament, but um, this, this would be fine. Winning two out of three trophies available is fine. And with the summer trophy, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, but there he is, Wondolowski, leading the team out for one last time for the MLS trophy. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, of course, we have to kick off, but um, after that, oh no. I thought I, usually this is not a thing. I mean, this is really unfortunate, but when I've done this with other career modes, it didn't have all these weird like lines and, and stuff like that, but we're gonna have to play it like this. But basically, I'm in goal right now with Justin Cameron, and this is all CPU. It's on Legendary, which I think is a, I, I kind of found out is pretty much the perfect difficulty. It makes it so it's not too easy, but it's also pretty tough. Um, so hopefully the team can just do well. Already we're in with Wando. Oh, he could have found Correa there. Oh God. So this is all I have to do. I have to come out, basically just play as a goalkeeper. But uh, yeah, I don't like this trainer. I don't know why it's on. It's never been on before when I've done this. Um, very, very weird. Here's chance here. Graham. The 19, no, not 19 year old. The 16 year old. The next, oh my gosh, what a goal that is. Wondolowski with the assist. A great little run from number 19. And he hits this first time surprisingly. And the 16 year old, Youth Academy prospect who broke through this year puts us in the lead early on in the first half. I think that's only his third goal in the MLS. Yes, it is, but I feel like he's he's just playing like such a confident player. It, it see it feels like he's he's been in the MLS like t ten years already or something. Now I don't know if it's maybe the the difficulty at this point that's doing it, or maybe our defense just really is that good. Because we do have decently rated players. We have like a 77 rated uh, Sullivan in there. We have a 74 rated Schindler. But uh, it just doesn't seem like Columbus are breaking through the uh, my defensive line at, at all. What a chance. I was just holding L1 there. I mean, he was offside, but... I was just holding L1 that just keeps my, I think that keeps your goalie like in a position and, and I think that's basically like also having the CPU control your goalkeeper. Like I didn't die for that or anything using the analog sticks, I just held L1. He was offside anyways, but a very, very good chance for Columbus there. And that shows us just the danger of, of what they could do. We're getting to half time and right now I think the only thing that's really keeping us in uh, keeping us in this is our defense has just been absolute beasts. 1-0 at the half, they technically haven't got a shot on goal, but they did have that offside. I didn't end up saving it, fortunately. But uh, Wondolowski into the 16-year-old Ricardo Correa to get the 1-0. Oh my gosh, look how far out of position I am. But uh, yeah, the 37-year-old Wondolowski into the 16-year-old Correa. Just absolutely amazing. Now eventually, probably in the 60th, 65th minute, I will put in Mason Toy just to maybe try and get one more opportunity. 
um, but it is it is going to be very good to see Wando come off for his last game. An absolute legend of the club. We do have a decent opportunity here. It's Wando out deep. Play back in. Correa. We're two to one. Sixteen-year-old Ricardo Correa with the second goal in the MLS final, and that could have very well sealed the MLS double for the San Jose Earthquakes. Wondolowski, 37 years of age, probably in his last five minutes here as a professional footballer, into Correa, who has had just an absolutely wonderful season here at the club. Four goals in the MLS, two in the final here. And at this point, I think we just sit back maybe and uh, watch as this game goes by. I don't think I'm going to be taking out Wando. He's got two assists and we're 2-0 up. Maybe if they pull it back, I put in Mason Toy, but what a wonderful little play there. And I could see it coming as well. I could see it coming. We were knocking at the door, getting opportunities up uh, up in there into the pitch, and just a wonderful play to get uh, Carrera in that goal, and that was a very nice chance for them. I just wish I could keep Wando and Carrera up there at the... Uh, at the striker in camp forever. It's Wondolowski. Just score. No. Is he gonna assist a third time? He could have. He could have just ran that. Scored on his last game. What a moment that would have been. That would have been hands down my favorite moment of this career mode. The only part of this long sim that has been unfortunate is that they have all these lines and little uh, indicators, but. Unfortunately, that's something you gotta deal with. But look at this, Carrera in the final. Do it, do it to him. 3-0, Ricardo Carrera seals the double for the San Jose Earthquakes, and he's gonna be the future. I'm probably gonna be playing this career mode offline, and Ricardo Carrera, he's probably eventually gonna be going to a big European club, but, oh my gosh. What a moment, a hat trick for the young 16-year-old in the MLS playoff final. And that's it, 24 minutes in, 54 minutes in, and 69 minutes in. What a game for the 16 year old. I don't know why, we, we should have signed him way earlier. He is so much better, he's so much better than Jensen. And there it is. The double has been completed. San Jose will be going home with not only the US Open Cup, but the MLS Trophy, Ricardo Correa, 24 minutes in, 54 minutes in, and 69 minutes in. What a moment for the club. It's been so long since San Jose have brought home the MLS, and we've done it here, and Wondolowski gets to see it off in his last season. He will be open in the M he will be lifting up the MLS trophy as well. Hopefully they do a presentation. They better. There it is. Wow. What a turnaround. We had Daniel Vega in goal. Now it's Justin Cameron, 78, 17 or so years old. We had Kashia and Jungwirth in the back. Now we have Sullivan and Schindler. We had Yudsin in the middle. And now we're freaking champions. Wanda lifts the trophy. And we are officially champions of the MLS. What a moment that is for Wondolowski. Such a great servant to the club. All-time MLS top goal scorer. And now he's got himself a double for the season. He's been such a good mentor to the young lads of this club. And Ricardo Correa, he's gonna take he's gonna take his spot. And I think he's just gonna do absolutely amazing. But there we are, running to the fans. What a moment for the club. This is just awesome. This is so awesome to see. Just the boys there, the fireworks going off. These are the moments they will want I think we may have to do this next year as well for FIFA 21. We may have to do it. There it is, the boys. Absolutely amazing. MLS Cup champions, everyone there. Absolutely beautiful moment. And that's it. Three goals for Ricardo Correa finishes off and we get one final post-match interview. From rags to riches, Correa with a hat trick, 16 years of age. 
it's just a breathtaking performance. Rematch against, they beat us. They beat us 1-0 early in this season, and we have been stuck on that match ever since. It was just absolutely wonderful. You, you can't defeat the Earthquakes twice. You really cannot. We started to be a bit shaky in the later parts of the season, drawn a couple games here and there, lost our last game of the season, but we clutched it up here in the playoffs and I couldn't be happier. Absolutely wonderful. I'll give Columbus full credit. There were some scary moments, but they couldn't stop Ricardo Carrera, they couldn't stop Wondolowski, and they couldn't stop the damn San Jose Earthquakes. What a season that is. I hope you enjoyed this series, a two season series, I believe about 17 parts. What a journey it's been. And it just makes me so excited for what else we could do with career mode. Not only in this FIFA, in the dying embers of FIFA 20, but what we could do in FIFA 21 with the new simulation features and stuff like that. The one, the one downside, we never got a player in the top five goal scores, interestingly enough. But uh, that means the team was, you know, spread out with goals. So very, very good. So that is it for the San Jose career mode. It might be a long one, but I think it's worth it. We've done the double, US Open Cup, easy as that, and then the MLS Cup final as well. Very, very excited to keep playing this uh, offline. But for me, it's the end of the road for posting this on YouTube. It was fun while it lasted. But now I go on to more series and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, absolutely wonderful. You love to see Cameron as well getting the clean sheet. Who got the player of the competition as well? Probably Zardes. Yeah. Goalkeeper of the tournament though. Big man, Cameron. Chris Wanolowski hanging up his boots as well. That is going to be all for me for this video. I hope you enjoyed this whole series. I sure did. Thank you all for all the support on it. We've actually, we've actually gone up in in the likes of views and and likes on videos, which just really, it's it's absolutely amazing. I'm so grateful for it. So thank you for that. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next series in the next video. Peace.